Okay, since I didn't hit record the first time I did this, okay, so the little introduction is we're talking about um, Amber's $100 cheap PC challenge in which you got a $100 budget for uh, motherboard RAM, CPU, GPU. You cannot spend more than that. You can spend less than that. I, don't, I can't remember if there's points awarded for not spending $100, but I spent exactly $100. What I got was is... Uh, first of all, we see that we have the Radeon uh, RX 70. That's an XFX um, flavor, four gigabyte VRAM, and I paid forty dollars for it on eBay. Paid a little bit more because of shipping, but I paid forty dollars. The forty dollars counts. Shipping doesn't count. Next is the motherboard. Motherboard is an ASUS Sabertooth X79 Tough motherboard with an i7 3930K. CPU and it came with 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and it came with the the heatsink. I I didn't repaste it nothing. I just basically put it together. Um, and I just basically slapped it on a test bench, slapped the the graphics card in it, threw the uh, threw a um, SSD on it that has a Windows 11 install and has been on like 1700 motherboards. Um, I don't care. I didn't reinstall anything. This probably is not going to get the best performance just because um, it's a mangled, old, hacked up install. But that's how I roll because it's just more convenient. Anyway, um, so that's my $100 budget. And we'll see how this performs in uh, the uh, preceding or the, the next videos. Um, I'm, I'm gonna excuse my my umming. I'm not a I'm no no script or anything like that. All right, so let's uh I'll, I'll see you back when we got the first benchmark. All right, here I am doing the octane test for Amber's cheap PC challenge twenty twenty three. And here we go. Bang, boom, boom. This is not, this is running natively on the computer. Um, just as it comes. And there goes Malware Bat Bites. Let me just get rid of that. This is a fully fledged, fully operational computer with all the stupid crap that you would put on it. Or, you know, this is not a, um, this is not a, uh, um, bare test bench. This is a, a Windows 11 install that's been on like 17 different uh, motherboards. Okay, so I got an 18, I got an 18,019 18, um, score. Okay, there we go. That's what we got. All right, we're back for another benchmark, and we're going to do. Uh, the Passmark Performance uh, Benchmark. Now I think we're going to do the CPU only test. So we'll let this rock. Uh, continue. Okay. All right. Let's walk, let's run the C CPU benchmark. And how do I get this to run? Run. Yes. There we go. Yes. All right, we'll let, let, let it do its thing. And let me... Yes. Here we go. Now, this is an i7-3930K. 30, i7 um, it was actually considered a high-end um, CPU back in the day. Um, very... Uh, very, very, very high, uh, a pretty high, um, high performance CPU, and I think that came from like 2011 ish. Uh, but it was the HEDT or high, high or high performance. What is it? How? What is that? It's something desktop. Anyway, it's the it was like the prosumer version of the consumer parts. Um, that's really not the case anymore because we have things like. You know, we have things that like, you know, have like 38 cores and, you know, I mean, the, I don't even know what the i7, 
uh, 30, uh, i7, 13, 900K. We'll just look at that. Um, it has, I'm going to look at it while I'm doing this. Oh, whoops. I'm not running, I'm not doing the test right. I'm not showing the test. Oh, okay, well, why don't we go like this? And then I'll show you the test. We can switch back and forth. Um, we can switch back and forth. But here we go. We got 11,868. Uh, 88th percentile in the world on this test, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and uh, just while I was looking at, yeah, like the i7 1300, the 1300, 13900K. Geez, these things are good. It's a 16, it's like 24 cores and 32 threads. I mean, and, and, it, it, and that's considered a standard desktop part now. Okay, so that, that was the uh, pass mark. One more thing to go, and then I'm going to run a bonus. Then I'm going to run a bonus um, test, and then, and, then, and then we'll see what, see what she does. Um, and the bonus test I'm going to run, I'm going to run a bonus test. I'm just going to use um, user benchmark. I like it because it, it has a large database to compare. I'm not doing like a, you know, a 3D mark run or anything like that. So, all right. All right. So on to the next test. All right. Here we go. We're doing the Lost Planet uh we're doing the lost planet uh direct x10 benchmark and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna let it run see how we do now we're getting pretty good fps here um we've got uh 500 and something odd this is a 720 uh, uh 720p benchmark 720p was a was the def, the, the um, high definition resolution that we were all running back in like 2009, 2008. Because anything higher than that is just you know too expensive. So above the that buck. Let this run for a minute. I'm gonna shut up and let it run.
run an AI language model on it. There we go. All right, that's it. That is our uh, benchmark. I let it run. I kind of let it run a little too long. So we'll see those numbers there. I have to go back and watch them because uh, I am recording this live. However, uh, the next one we're going to do is user benchmark. So let's just shut everything down. Launch benchmarks. And here we go. We're going to run them and see how we do. Um, some people don't think this is a proper test. I like it because it lets me have a comparison, a comparative benchmark um, uh, between a whole bunch of systems. And, you know, and it gives you a kind of a, you know, a kind of an overall view of what your system can do. I'm going to suspect this system is going to be on the low end, obviously. It's got an old, uh, it's got like a 12-year-old processor and a old and a 7-year-old GPU that wasn't high end to begin with, but um it's surprisingly competent for gaming. Um it is surprisingly competent for gaming. And if I were to if I wanted to, I were to if I were to do what I was should do, I should be playing this um I should be playing playing this uh a game on this or something like that that's modern but um you know nope nope I'm not going to do all that I'm just going to do this I'm not like I said I'm not a guy that gets on the internet and makes videos and stuff like that don't really you know this is a little out of my um it's a little out of my um uh, comfort zone in terms of like how to do things um I mean, you know, I make little short videos here and there, but mostly when I was at the gun range, a lot of those were taken down after um, after a few years. Just thought, you know, let's not keep those up there. But, um, well, that's a new thing. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so. Yeah. Excuse me. Exhausted. All right, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Oh, hey, it's an 81% on the desktop workstation as a sailboat. We got a jet ski for gaming. So the graphics was a big thing. The processor was pretty good. Um, so the processor's still pretty good. Performing as expected. Okay. Performing below potential. So I could probably overclock it. Way below expectations, that seems to be true because we're. Well, we got a 480 read. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I think I have it hooked up to uh, SATA 3 instead of SATA 2, or SATA 6 instead of SATA 3. I don't know. And. RAM was good. Okay, so that concludes it. I'm gonna come back. Um, I'm gonna come back later with just kind of a summary of all the scores and we'll just talk about what I've done with the computer. And, uh, then I'll slap this computer, this uh, video together somehow. I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. All right. I decided to try just to do something with this computer and I am working on the video for this computer about this computer the one you're watching 
Um, I'm gonna um, do a shot cut. It's a very simple, and I'm just gonna sketch them together. And then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let it encode. And I just want to see what the encoding um, thing is on this. You can use a hardware encoder on this. See if we have one that we can use. Ah, AMF. And oh, okay. Detect, configure. Okay, so we don't have QuickSync. This is too old. Actually, this doesn't have a built-in GPU. Um, Invink, nope. Oh, let's do that. Let's do an H six five H uh, two six five, and see how that does. Okay, and then we're gonna go here. And we're just going to call it Move my beer glass out of the way so I can type Amber Cheap PC Challenge uh, First Edit And we're going to let it chooch and see how it does and just for fun, we're gonna. See, I want to see what this does with the um, hardware monitor, and just see what it does. Let's just go like that. Oh, okay. So it's a. Ah, how we're doing on GPU? Let's just to see what, what what we're doing here. Let's let's see how this chooches. Let's uh, show. Logical processors. We're using 16, 6 gigs of RAM. And we're using 60% of the GPU right now. That's why it's going so fast. Nine minutes. And it's a... How long is this? It's a 16 minute video. 16 minute video. 60 frames per second. Um... So it's doing it at about 100 frames per second, which, by my calculations, which is fine. That's perfect. So if it was one-to-one, -one, it would be getting 60 frames, right? So it's a little bit more. So it's not quite, pardon me, I'm pouring myself a beer. So we're, we're getting about 75, 80 frames per second, which is fine for video editing. Um, especially when you talk about how cheap this thing is. I'm going to throw this video, when it's done, on this computer. Uh, on this computer, I'm actually going to take this edit and work on it on my main machine because my main machine is a lot more comfortable to use. It's a lot faster. And I have a copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio that I've been messing with. But this is pretty cool. This is outstanding. This is pretty good performance. So, yeah. Um... I could spin up a, I've had, um, I've done all sorts of things with this. This is kind of the final conclusions. Um, and I'll also add a pane that has um, some final thoughts in the, in the results. But this is a neat little computer that costs 100 bucks for some, don't have a case, it's not in a case, it's on a test bench. It's just, it's just on a, uh, I have a um, high-speed PC top deck uh test bench <clears throat> you know some generic crappy 600 watt power supply this still has ketchup and mustard cables um and that plus uh it's got a, a it's got a samsung two terabyte ssd uh sata ssd that i literally have this hack copy of windows 11 on that's been on um at least seven or eight different motherboards as i was playing around with them and they're all old crap I've even had this in my uh, I even had this in my uh, 20, 2009 Mac Mac Pro uh, that I it's that got up bumped up to um, uh, five uh, you know uh, five comma one and um, I just slapped this in and turned it on and it worked just fine. And in fact, this was a very nice that Mac Pro makes a very nice um, Windows eleven PC. However. It's um, it's too expensive for this challenge, 
and the, even the graphics card in my Mac Pro is better. I have an RX uh, 480, and it's actually been flashed to a Mac, a Mac ROM. I got it used off of eBay just by chance, so it's cool. Um, and maybe I'll do a video of that someday. I don't know. I'm just not into, I'm not a video making guy. I'm a video watching guy. I'd rather watch videos than make them. This has been way out of my, um, uh, appreciate y'all watching this. This has been way out of my wheelhouse. Um, not, not really sure what I'm doing with this. Uh, but, uh, this was fun. This is real fun. This is going to be done in five minutes. I'm going to drink my beer. I'm going to enjoy it. And this is going to get put on the end of the video. Um, I just want to talk about what I've done with this computer. I've used this computer as my main system um, for about three weeks. I don't have any footage of that because that would have been just tedious. Plus, I, you know, I don't want to show off any of my personal information. I don't want to show off... Um, my website because i use it every i use my computer for everything banking email entertainment that sort of thing and um this was a good little computer um this runs this runs um windows 11 just fine all it's, it's a hacked up version that i made with rufus it runs windows 11 just fine in fact, I gotta do an update too. Uh what's this say? Windows update. Oh look at that. I'm getting Windows updates. That's Oh, it's a restart. Oh, we'll do that later. Um So it's got a Windows it's actually I even bought a Windows key for I even bought a Windows key for this. Or for this installation. But I mean it does everything. I've used it with handbrake, I've used it with shortcut, um used I ripped a couple DVDs use uh, DVDs that I had. I even have a um, Linux. I even have a Linux Mint install on VirtualBox. I find for what I use Linux for, which is very limited, um, I use it on my laptops. I use it, I'm going to have a little ramble here, but I use it on my laptops. Um, I use it on my or a my laptop. I only have one laptop. It's an old old 20 uh, 2011 stink pad uh 520t uh, i think it is it's basically a very it's, it's it's contemporary of this um and i just use that for light web browsing and reading books um when i'm down in my living room because the laptop lives in the living room i don't update it i don't do anything it just runs linux and it runs it just fine um but i really don't use linux for anything um Outside of that, except for I use it when I need to do a torrent. No, I'm not doing anything bad with torrents. Um, when I want to torrent a Linux uh, ISO, I do it using that because I don't do torrents on Windows. It's just something I've never um, done. I've always used Linux or had a Linux box around to do torrenting. Just something I started doing back when I started using Linux and mixed in with a... Um, Windows, and that was in 2007. Yeah, I've been using Linux uh, since about 2007. Um, anyway, um, that's a that's a way big tangent, but I appreciate y'all uh, coming along for the ride. I apologize for my very poor um, video editing because I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. It's not my it's not my deal. Um, it's not my deal. I play around with it a little bit, but it's it's really not my deal. And uh, we're going to go... Oh, okay, just me. Excuse me. <clears throat> just got distracted by something. Um, we're going to um, we're gonna call it here. Uh, I'm going to come back with a, a quick video on conclusions. Uh, once I make that i'll add it to this this gets get, go added to the thing and then i'll stitch it all together and see how it runs and then um we'll go from there um all right thank you